My name's Charles, Charles Liebergreen, and I work at Abacus Bio down in Dunedin. Um, Abacus Bio is an organisation uh, founded in New Zealand. We're about 60 people internationally, um, and generally speaking, we're, we're very well known for working in the field of genetics and, and livestock, but we also do that in uh, plantation forestry and lots of other species like uh, aquaculture, uh, honeybees, uh, even a swine and, and things like that. Um, and we're quantitative, so we, we generally need data to do what we do, um, and we use that to support the, the endeavours of, of livestock breeders and tree breeders, uh, helping them manage their breeding programs. I've had the, the pleasure of working with Mount Cass uh, just over the, the last few months. Um, Mount Cass uh, have a, a Wiltshire flock, and New Zealand's sheep industry, um, you know, because we are producers of primary product and we export a lot of that, we need to be conscious of what's happening overseas in terms of international markets. So the Wiltshire is a relatively new breed. Um, wool prices are a bit depressed at the moment. And so sheep farmers are wondering, you know, can they do something different with, with their commercial flocks? And the Wiltshire might be a really good alternative to that in terms of uh, not producing so much much wool, uh, which is actually a cost um, with traditional breeds at the moment. So the Wiltshire um, sheds its fleece and, and that means that uh, shearing is no longer a requirement. And there's other benefits as well. We've just heard uh, Trevor Cook um, and David Scobie talk about the benefits of a, of a resilient animal, one that um, seems to be relatively resistant to internal parasites. And if that's a package that Wiltshire Genetics can bring to commercial sheep farmers in New Zealand, you know, that could be a real win. In, in terms of my engagement with Mount Cass, um, I, I, uh, so sheep breeders in New Zealand utilise a, a, a database called Sheep Improvement Limited and uh, Mount Cass were able to share their data with me and I had a really good look through that. Um, that includes things like um, weaning weights and the number of lambs that are born per ewe um, and adult size measurements and, and um, shedding scores and things like that. Um, they've, they've really begun performance recording seriously for the last couple of years, so we don't have a lot of data, but things are looking very positive. Um, they also do uh, DNA testing here at Mount Cass, so they, um, they, they make sure that the parentage of their animals is absolutely known, back to uh, sire and, and dam. Uh, that's really, really important when they're selling rams to farmers because they want to make sure that um, the, the lineage of that ram that they're buying is absolutely known and reflected in the breeding values uh, when they buy those rams. Um, I think there's a couple of other interesting things coming up. Um, Mount Cass are, for the first time, doing a little bit of um, spore desmond dosing for a trait uh, called facial eczema tolerance. Um, that's a, that's a really, really important in the North Island where facial eczema is a disease which, which can affect sheep. And so if uh, Mount Cass are thinking of selling rams to the North Island, then they want to be uh, well in advance of the requirement of farmers up there for facial eczema tolerant rams. It's been great being here today, a uh, beautiful day in, in Canterbury and, and seeing the, the, the flock at, at the open day. First time for me but I think this is the third year they've done it. Um, ram sales coming up in January and if there's any way that I can um, you know enhance the information that Mount Cass being to ram briars in, in January that'd be great but generally speaking I, I think they're um, you're setting up for a really good sale and um, yeah it should be should be really interesting seeing the reaction of uh, commercial farmers being able to come to a, a rather large Wiltshire flock and, and choose rams.